Hello. Today we're going to talk about NetPoint's capabilities for visual target mode. Uh, this is a way that you can compare a uh, schedule before and after an update and compare schedules against each other. The first step in this process is to add a data date. As you can see here, we have one data date already. If I add another data date by clicking the data date icon and then selecting the date at which I want to do the update, you'll get this message, capture target before update. This is important if you want to use the target mode. Um, so what it does is it'll just take a snapshot of the state of your schedule at this point. And then you can do your updates. For instance, uh, it looks like building permit. We thought it was going to be finished on 129. And it looks like it's going to go to 213. That's in the next board meeting, I guess. And um, so now that we've made those adjustments and we've captured those updates, we can take a look at uh, how we manage the schedule progress, which is after you drop a data date, what are you going to do with each of these activities, which are qualified for an update? And we're going to go ahead and actualize all those at their new locations. Once you've done your updates, then you can see the earlier data date has faded. Your new current data date is highlighted. And if we go up here to visual target mode, then you'll see that we have a bunch of different options, including if the finish date is at least five days behind schedule, then turn the bar larger and dark green. Or if the finish date is at least five days ahead, make it smaller and light green. You can edit or add any of these you want to customize the view you get. The next option on the screen is non-matching objects. If something doesn't qualify for one of these filters, then just fade it. It won't be a part of your picture. And then we can display shadows, which will show um, the original that you're comparing to as a shadow and then the actual current uh, that you're looking at as a colored um, item. And then all objects uh, we want to show display variances. So let's take a look at what the graphic looks like when we apply that. You can see that after we did this update in our day to date, uh, you'll remember that I dragged building permits out to 213. And you can see here that that's now 11 days behind the original scheduled end date. You can see the original baseline here and you can see the uh, extended date here. Um, you can also see that we've had some other issues. Um, we had uh, shops in RA that slid five days back in bid and award. And you can see how that's pushing the critical path out. Um, the original conclusion was 831. That's now, um, I'm sorry, the, uh, the current is 831. 31, well, it was 831, now it's uh, 92. So um, that's just a quick view of how you can run through and use the, uh, the tool for visualizing and comparing different schedules.